Shirley, would you mind coming up? And I'm, she has a word for the body of Christ in a general, not just this body, but the entire body. And I want, God told me to give her the chance to share it with you. And Good morning. I just recently flew in from Idaho where I was ministering and uh, had been giving a word, corporate word. And so this is the corporate word. Romans 8, 1 through 39. And this is all in the words of the Lord from the Holy Spirit. This is the word to cling to. This is my word to all who call me Lord. Hold fast to it now, for the enemy seeks to destroy, but his every attempt will be thwarted. I am taking back what he stole away from my people. His false deceptions have crossed the line, and my fire will destroy his every tactic, maneuver, and manipulation to lure his victims into what would become their demise, void of my intervention. My arm is not so short it cannot save, and my anger is kindled, and my wrath shall come of it. I am setting the captives free. I tell you this because the signs are about to appear before you, and all who seek me out for their protection, deliverance, and peace. What shall you say to these things? If I am for you, who can be against you? Man says, call a spade a spade. I say, call to me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things you do not know. That's where things are now. Those things that look bleak, overwhelming, devastating, incomprehensible, and uncommonly irreparable, are they really? You can do all things through my strength, beloved. Speak to your mountain, O ye my people. With a mustard seed size of faith, it will move, and I will win your battles. Can't is not an option. You can do all things. I hide my people beneath my wing, and they shall survive the storms that frighten them. All my people void of race, creed, or color. Morning comes with my fury, beloved. The earth will tremble and my angels will battle for men's souls. Children will be rescued in this season and evil shall burn in my holy fire. I say again, morning will come with my fury. Which morning do I reference here? Any morning in which I move to annihilate the enemy. My fury will come as needs dictate in the morning hour in a day's beginning. The day shall begin with my intervention that holds harm and unexpected devastation for my people. Yes, I speak of Israel here, but this is not confined only there, but shall come for my people wherever they might be as the season dictates. My angels are warring in the heavens, and their every assignment will be carried out to its completion. I will leave nothing untouched. Listen for my voice and heed my words, for they are not spoken falsely as the enemy would do. Learn to discern. Seek me, and I will show you the truth from the fiction the enemy would have you believe. Now is then, was and what shall be is determined by the actions which ensue where trouble hides in unseen places until it suddenly appears to carry out its mission. But I see all and I know all, every plan, whether good or bad. Knowing this, how could you fear the trouble that lurks about if you trust in me? knowing I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Yes, people perish where there is unrest, and in the chaos of war, most especially the vehemently evil war against my nation Israel at this present time. 
Blow the trumpet in Zion, you who are of the faith. Sound the alarm on my holy mountain, O Israel, my beloved people. Your deliverer is nigh and comes with fury to make your enemies non-existent. They shall be a non-existent thing. For if I am for you, my Israel, my USA, my continents, my islands, my desert lands, who can be against you? The Lion of Judah does not sleep, and my growl shall grow loud that the whole world will hear through the thunders in the heavens. My power shall be shown in the lightning that comes on a clear day. My signs await their entry, and my presence shall overcome the evil wrought of men. These are not pleasant days for most of the world, for every nation has its woes on many fronts. But I, the Lion of Judah, am coming to bring victory out of chaos, and peace out of turmoil, and light out of the darkness. Watch for it, O ye my people, for the wait is not long until it comes. I, the Lord, speak to you here, and I will not disappoint you. Let all that has breath praise me, for I inhabit the praises of my people. I can no longer postpone my intervention as the evil streams from the enemy's stanchions continue to pollute the minds of men who are vulnerable to such as this, and I must destroy them to save my people and their habitation. Does not my word say it? The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. He will thrust out the enemy from before you and will say destroy. Deuteronomy 33, 27. I will destroy, seek me, and you will find me when you search for me with your whole heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. For I am near and not afar off. Jeremiah 23, 23 and 24. I am your good shepherd. John 10, 1 through 30. I am that I am. Exodus 3, 14. No, I have all sovereignty and authority over all things in heaven and on the earth. And I am not lax in my discipline, nor do I contend with that which is of the darkness perpetually, nor void of a time when I must act. And this is that time. Woe be to those who are my enemies because of their deeds against the innocent for they shall perish in the fires of hell. To everything a season, a time, and a purpose. No man can stop it, and no man need try. And now I close with this word to ponder as time goes forward into the days ahead. What you know, you know, and this is good for you. But what you teach helps others to learn and this is good for them. Teach what you know, and speak what you teach, for there are ears waiting to hear, and hearts longing for a closer relationship with me. My blessing is with you, and my peace also. And out of my peace, pray for my people Israel, that their peace will also will come. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, and neither let it be afraid. This is the word of the Lord for the hour.